Uh, okay. How does one ride this? I just run up here. You want to use Sogaleo's power to try and reach the warp white warp hole? Sure, why not? Not like I'm doing anything else right now when it's all dark. Sogaleo, aid us. Where did this where did this thing come from? Where where did that where did this Sogaleo actually just come from? You didn't catch in a Pokeball. Where that what With Ultra Warp Ride you can ride on Sogaleo to travel through Ultra Wormholes. Try to reach warp holes that will lead you to other worlds. You use your system's motion sensors to control Sogaleo's path. Tilt the system up, down, left, and right to control the Pokemon. Your system's gy gyroscope gets stuck out of alignment, isn't reacting properly. Move back to a neutral position, press A to reset. Sogaleo needs energy to fly through a wormhole. Absorb brown balls of energy, you will fly faster. This will also allow you to travel further. If you run into obstacles, you'll lose speed. This big hole is a warp hole. If you get too near it, you'll be drawn towards it. Different warp holes lead to a variety of different worlds depending on their color. How flashy a warp, warp hole is looks is based on how rare it is. There are four levels of rarity into whoa, 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 hold on. Are the legendary Pokemon there? The further away and flashier the wormhole, the better your odds of meeting rare Pokemon. Absorb more and more energy and try to head the far for far away warp holes. Okay, so motion controls is what you're telling me, and this is gonna suck, but okay. Seems legit. So what am I gathering? These? Okay. It's not going left and right, I'll tell you that much for sure. I like the music. Okay. What the? Okay, see first of all... First of all, who decided this should be motion controls based? Who? Who said that? I just ran into something. I don't even know what the hell I just ran into. You ran into the warp hole that was 1,130 light years away from where you were. Seems the Crosman's not in this world. Well, that's great because I totally don't know where I am right now. What is right here? I see something floating right here. I feel like I should save. Is this where we're gonna start catching all the legendaries apparently? Oh shit, no, that was a, uh, whatever that thing is called. Yeah, this thing. It's not a legendary, but it's pretty damn cool. I feel like it was gonna be a legendary. Oh, level 60, hold up, damn. Dude, this Sigilyph is strong as fuck. Whoa. Hang on now. I'm about to get put down, hold up. Holy moly, hold on, wait a minute. I should really like Sigilyph as a Pokemon. Alright, now you can't keep flinching me to death though. Sky attack, oh great. It died, never mind. I was actually gonna try and catch that. Oh well. That's okay. Oh, what'd you drop? A clever wing. Alright. So, this little mini game we're playing with Sogaleo. Oops. Is that the only way we can get to legendaries? If so, I'm gonna have to learn how to get better at that, because, like I said. The motion controls in this game are just... Uh, terrible. Actually terrible. What? Can I call it again? Damn it. The 
the white warp pole is what we're looking for. Don't play that cutscene again. I about to say, <laughs> don't do it. So we're looking for a white wormhole, huh? I'm telling you guys, this is a lot more annoying than it looks. I do not like motion controls at all. Oh jeez. Wait, is that it? Oh, come on, man. I got knocked into a blue one. What What is here? This looks like where Lugia was, like legit. But it's not. There's no way this is where Lugia was. Freaking Stunfisk. Oh boy. I don't, I don't even want to try and kill this thing. I would, I really wish that this was not motion control based. Like, actually, though. Who, who, who said that was a good idea? Because I do not agree. At all. Alright, give me a second. Let's see if I can get the hang of this. I'm trying to, like, see what actually determines us going up because it's not doing it sometimes. Like, turning is what's the pain in the butt. That's a yellow one. That's a blue one. That's another blue one. Oh, those are white, aren't they? No? That's blue. Oh wait, that one was that one was actually quite shiny. What about that one? That one looks pretty. That one look that one looked like what we were supposed to go, maybe? God damn it. This is actually where we just came from. Oh boy. Is this still a stun fisk? It's a freaking lumbre. What the hell, man? I'm not sure I like this mini game anymore. No, I don't feel about this. So maybe I should just literally keep going. I should just keep flying until I until I actually until it literally just shows me the same portal that I'm trying to get to. So I think me and the game have different, you know, definitions of the word white warp hole. Also, me being partially freaking colorblind doesn't fucking help at all, but you know. I'll admit, I, I like the concept. Just control could be a little bit better. A lot better. Oh, son of a bitch. Come on, man.
Oh, okay. We're losing speed. No, stop. What? We got, we got, I was forced into that one, man. Fuck these controls. The cross is not here. I'm not surprised. Who is here? That was Altaria. And purely because this thing has a mega evolution, it will be impossible to catch because, you know, reasons. Jesus Christ, dude. Alright. Parasong? Why, why you gotta do that? Maybe not want to catch you now. I thought I have a choice. You're gonna die anyway. <laughs> Muscle wing. All right. Well, we're struggling some more, boys. If only I didn't have to go back and talk to them over and over and over again. We'll get it eventually. A white warp hole. Jesus. Definitely have to edit this down, because, jeez. So it does not work as well as I, I think Nintendo wants it to work, dude. Unless I'm trying too hard. Well, I'm going to be stuck on this part for a while, it seems like. I mean, a lot of those seem white already. That one seemed white. Wait, was that it? Of course! It wasn't even that hard to get to. I'm an idiot. Jesus Christ. Ultra Megalop... Meg... Whatever this place is. Ultra Megalopolis. Megalopolis. Whoa, an Alolan person appeared riding on Sogaleo's back. Dos, what should we do? Think we should investigate him? Remain calm, Zossi. Human from the world of Alola. Necrozma has claimed Lunala's power and is now atop the Megalo Tower. The people here have all fled indoors to safety. They fear Necrozma will fly into another rage, as it did when that woman Luzumin appeared. Necrozma will reclaim its true power now that it has stolen the light from another. But it cannot control that light, and so Necrozma only suffers more. We use the power of our technology to try and quiet Necrozma, while also using it to provide some small amount of light to ourselves. Both Necrozma and our own people have lived long years with a darkness that never should have been, living a life we did not wish, wish for. Human of Alola, will you not stop Necrozma and bring the light back to our world and Alola? Necrozma lies ahead. You will find it top Megalo Tower. All right. Well, it took me about 40 minutes to get here, but you know, and it wasn't even that bad to get to. I knew it was one of those early ones. Just like it wasn't registering me flying through them properly. Be careful, people of Alola. The Crossman is really strong. There's nothing that we can here can do. We can no longer control it with technology. We certainly have no hope of defeating it in battle ourselves. The light in the Crossman once filled our world. And it did not shine upon us alone. It gave energy to many throughout Ultra Space. Yeah, Necrozma is amazing. That's why, if you could help just calm it down, I bet it would share its light with everybody again, like it used to. Please, you've got to help it. Well, don't worry, I got you. I will help. Now, one quiet elevator ride later. Oh boy. So is this still fused? Am I still not gonna be able to catch this damn thing? I mean, not that I want it really, but... Oh boy, stairs. Love stairs. Are we healed? Hang on a second. We're not healed. Eh, we'll be fine. It's just a Crossman. It's fine. Just 
just gonna ignore Rotom because he's being he's being a derp right now. Hello, Necrozmat. What the heck? What is that? What is this raid boss looking as? What the fuck is that thing? That is not Necrozma. It's studying you. It seems eager to do battle. This thing looks badass, but what is this thing? Holy moly. This is Necrozma? What the f There's no way, dude. Okay, then. I see you, my dude. Level 60, alright. So instead of battling losing me in her super form, we gotta battle this damn thing, alright? That's fine with me. What type are you? Photon Geyser. That did a lot! Holy crap! Are you faster than me? Guess we'll find out. Yes, you are. And we dodging out here because reasons. Yo, Photon Geyser does too much damage. What the hell is that? It resisted it. What type are you? Are you a, you look like a dragon? Are you a dragon type? You resisted water. Hmm. Photon Geyser. Dude, that does so much damage. That's not even okay. <laughs> Holy moly. What type of move was that? It hits for neutral. You think if we boost again, I'll live? I don't think so. I'm gonna boost again anyway. Yeah, it's doing 90 something damage. We might live this one. Oh, barely. We can live another one. We can actually test if this thing is dragon or not. Power gem. I think he ran out of photon geysers. Of course you're dragon type. Why am I not surprised? It's the only type that makes sense for you to look that epic. <laughs> Jesus. If that's the case, then probably a. Uh, Probably a boosting twice wasn't necessary, but you know what? It was cool anyway. Hey, Nebby's back. Wow. That was amazing. Holy crap. The Crosma lost its light. It disappeared into another world. I imagine we'll have to go chase that down at some point. 
I do not know how long it will take, but someday in the distant future, perhaps we will also be able to bathe in such light again in our world. I am thankful to you, human of Alola, to you and the light of your Z crystals. The necrozma you managed to quiet, yes, you might call it ultra necrozma. It shone with such blinding light as it used to, only to lose that light all over again. It seems to have fled to Alola now, and your Lunala also returned home as soon as it was freed. I am grateful that you heard our request and fulfilled our dearest wishes. Oh, what's Poi Poi acting up for now? Hey, Dulce. I'm assuming it's Dulce. I'm gonna call you Dulce anyway. You think Poi Poi is curious about this Alolan person too? Then let me give this Poi Poi to you. It is a sign of my gratitude to you, and also to grant the wish Poi Poi itself seems to hold. Will you take Poi Poi with you? I'd be happy to. Sure, I really did want one of these. An ultra beast that lives in a different world, it cackles wildly as it sprays its opponent with poison from the needles on its head. Alrighty then, um... I'm gonna name you, um, this is gonna be a weird name. But I'm gonna name you... Where's the dash? Alright, it's over there. I'll name you Tox Tox. Why? I don't know. I'm original, like I said. What level are you? I don't know what level you are. Uh, if I had to replace someone, though. It's a poison and it will be a poison dragon. It'd probably be best to replace Noivern. But I spent all that time evolving this damn thing that I actually kind of want to use it. But I need my fire type. So I guess I'll replace Vernon for now. I'll let you ride on Sogaleo if you want to go back to the world of Alola. Or would you rather ride on our Lunala instead? I don't think it matters. I guess I'll ride on Lunala. Got it. And you come come talk to me, you change your mind on which Pokemon you want to ride. I said I wasn't my Lunala we're riding? I'm so confused. Most impressive youth who holds the Z-Ring. I can feel the auras focusing on the Z-Ring, even as we speak. Thank you very much, Chaw Goer. While you face Necrozma in our Ultra Megapolis, there are some things we found out about the auras that fill Alola. Before our ancestors were forced to contain it, Necrozma emitted powerful light. That light is what you call Auras. That light must have passed through the Ultra Wormhole and rained down throughout Alola. Indeed, this is how the Trial Sites got their unique properties. Yes, both the Z-Power for the Z-Moves and the Auras for the Totem Pokemon are powers gifted to you by Necrozma. A trainer as gifted as yourself may be able to return the light to Necrozma without sending it into another rage. As thanks for your help, we shall continue to share our Sogaleo with you freely. You should be able to meet many amazing Pokemon by using Ultra Warp Ride to explore different worlds. It would not be a bad idea to continue research on Alola with all of its sea power. There's much for us to learn here, no doubt. I would like to travel Alola as a trainer, along with my Pokemon partners. Dan! Lily, it seems you are right. Right to feel hurt by the suffering of Pokemon. Right to take Cosmog away. No, I just... The one who really did everything was Dan, not me. Here, you should take these Beast Balls. Put out your hand. Three? Only three? These are special Pokeballs that we developed with the Ultra Recon Squad's help to capture Ultra Beasts. I know I could trust leaving them in the hands of a trainer like you. With its light stolen from it, Cosmog is... No. Lunala is weak. We'll take it back to Paradise to care for it. Lily, you will help also. Of course I will. Well, have fun, Lily. Maybe when you find, bring out the best in others, it helps you find the best in yourself too, huh? Um, Dan? 
I know I couldn't do anything to really help, but I was always on your side. You and your Pokemon side. I got the chance to finally talk with my mother. About a lot of things, really. I think I understand a little better now. Dan, you helped save Necrozma and the people of that world. And all of us, too. You gave us all the chance to smile again. I'm gonna go back to Paradise for a bit to help Navy recover, but... Do your best on the Island Challenge. Well, this took an interesting twist, didn't it? Jeez. I didn't think it'd be a carbon copy of Moon, but holy crap. Dan, Alola, Alola. I got curious because I saw the altar go all dark. I guess you took care of all that, huh? But I'm not gonna let you take all the good parts. I'm a captain too, you know. So why don't you see you can beat my trial? If you're ready to try, just come by my house. It's in Seafolk Village. Or yeah, I guess you could come with me. Let me know if you wanna go together. Uh, I kind of want to go fly through the portal some more, but not really. All right, let's go. Let's get this show on the road. 